Hello and welcome to the second part of the EEG series videos. In this video we will look into the type of waveforms recorded in EEG machine and components of EEG machines. I recommend if you've not seen the first part of this series, please first check that out and then resume to this video. Let's begin with types of EEG waveforms and EEG machines. EEG waveforms are generally classified according to their frequency, amplitude and shape, as well as the sites on the scalp at which they are recorded. The most familiar classification uses EEG waveform frequency example alpha, beta, theta and delta. Let's look into these waveforms one by one. First is delta waves. They have a frequency of 3 Hz or below. It tends to be the highest in amplitude and the slowest waves. It is normal as the dominant rhythm in infants up to one year and is stages 3 and 4 of sleep. It may occur focally with subcortical lesions and in general distribution with diffuse lesions, metabolic encephalopathy, hydrocephalus or deep midline lesions. It is usually most prominent frontally in adults, example FERDA, frontal intermittent rhythmic delta, and posteriorly in children, example OIRDA, occipital intermittent rhythmic delta. Second is theta waves, has a frequency of 3.5 to 7.5 Hz and is classified as slow activity. It is perfectly normal in children up to 13 years and in sleep, but abnormal in awake adults. It can be seen as a manifestation of focal subcortical lesions. It can also be seen in generalized distribution in diffuse disorders such as metabolic encephalopathy or in some instances of hydrocephalus. Third is alpha waves. Has a frequency between 7.5 and 13 Hertz. Is usually best seen in the posterior regions of the head on each side, being higher in amplitude on the dominant side. It appears when closing the eyes and relaxing and disappears when opening the eyes or alerting by any mechanism, thinking, calculating. It is the major rhythm seen in normal relaxed adults. It is present during most of life, especially after the 13th year. Fourth is beta waves. Beta activity is fast activity. It has a frequency of 14 and greater hertz. It is usually seen on both sides of symmetrical distribution and is most evident frontally. It is accentuated by sedative hypnotic drugs, especially the benzodiazepines and the barbiturates. It may be absent or reduced in areas of cortical damage. It is generally regarded as a normal rhythm. It is the dominant rhythm in patients who are alert or anxious or have their eyes open. And last but not least, gamma waves. Gamma brain waves are the fastest of brain waves, high frequency like a flute and relate to simultaneous processing of information from different brain areas. Gamma brain waves pass information rapidly and quietly. The most subtle of brainwave frequencies, the mind has to be quiet to access gamma. Let's know about 10 to 20 lead placement in EEG machines. The 10 and 20 refer to the fact that the actual distances between adjacent electrodes are either 10% or 20% of the total front back or right left distance of the skull. For example, a measurement is taken across the top of the head, from the nasion to inion. Most other common measurements start at one ear and end at the other, normally over the top of the head. Specific anatomical locations of the ear used include the tragus, the auricle, and the mastoid. Let's look into components in EEG machines. Let's begin with Headbox EEG machine. Your EEG leads will be put on by the EEG technologists. They will apply and remove wires, and also test the system to make sure that everything is working. When the leads are on your scalp, they will then be connected to a small portable recording unit called the head box. This sends information about your brain waves to larger units on the wall using a connecting cord. Second is amplifier in EEG machines. The EEG amplifier is the part of the data acquisition system responsible for accommodating amplifying and converting the analog electrical signals from the sensor into a digital signal that can be processed by the computer. Third is EEG electrodes in EEG machines. An EEG tracks and records brainwave patterns. Small metal discs with thin wires, electrodes, 
are placed on the scalp and then send signals to a computer to record the results. Normal electrical activity in the brain makes a recognizable pattern. Fourth is intermittent photic stimulation. The standard technique for intermittent photic stimulation, or IPS, is a presentation of a series of photic flashes delivered by a strobe light at a measured distance of 20 to 30 centimeters from the patient's face. During eye closure, a series of stimulus trains of increasing frequency is presented for 4 to 10 seconds, with a pause of 4 seconds between each train up to a frequency of 30 Hz. Fifth and last is software with computer or laptop. The last and main system is your computer, which will process the signals from headbox and shows the waveform, and it also controls the photic lamp and camera angle and recording during sleep studies. I hope you understood the basics of the EEG machine. It's a very wide and clinical application of EEG machine. We tried to keep it simple to understand the outline of electroencephalograph. If you are a learner, subscribe to the channel and share the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.